Sahabat-sahabatku Salam hormat Wardakam Good evening my fellow Singaporeans Thank you, thank you for coming tonight Walking through the mud Braving the risk of rain Thunder And the lightning bolt Some people say That during elections The opposition only talks about how bad things are And they have nothing good to say Well tonight I have good news for Singapore and the residents of Aljuni GRC. The other day, Senior Minister Go Chok Tong, Senior Minister Go said if the Workers' Party's team is elected into parliament to represent Aljuni, then Singapore will lose a very beautiful picture. A very beautiful picture of multiracial harmony with an Indian as president, a Chinese as prime minister, and a Malay as speaker of Parliament. <laughs> Minister Ho said this is because Inchek Zaino Abedin, who is contesting on the PAP team in our journey, has been earmarked to become our next speaker if he is elected into Parliament. Well, I admire. I admire Inchek Zaino Abedin. I admire what he has done in his long career of public service. And I hope that he will continue to serve Singapore after this election. The Workers' Party brings you good news. Good news to you and to Minister Go and his beautiful picture. Let me tell you, Inchek Zaino Abedin can still be the next Speaker of Parliament even if he is not elected MP at this general election. This is because, this is because Article 40 of our Constitution says that the Speaker may be elected either from among the MPs or from persons who are not MPs. In fact, in fact, did you know that our very first Speaker of Parliament, Sir George Olas, who served us from 1955 to 63, he was not an elected MP. Therefore, my friends, I have this proposition for you. Vote the Workers' Party so that Inchek Zaino Abedin can serve you as Speaker and the Workers' Party can serve the residents of Aljunit GRC. This is a win-win proposition. Now all of us, all of us have a beautiful picture of multicultural Singapore. For us, multiculturalism is what makes Singapore, Singapore. It's what makes Singapore the Singapore that we love. This is what 
This is what the Workers' Party manifesto says: Multiculturalism should be actively promoted, and it should form the cornerstone of our social policies. This is what we will work towards if we are elected into Parliament. My fellow citizens of Aljunied, I have another piece of good news for you. I know that some of you worry that if the Workers' Party is elected, people have told you that the value of your property may go down. I I have looked at. HDB data, and what I can tell you is that the story is not simple. Based on HDB data for the resale of flats in Aogang HDB town, this is an HDB town that covers Aogang SMC as well as parts of Aljuni. And other SMC and, and and other constituencies. So, looking at the data for resale of flats in Aogang HDB town in the last 12 months, 12 months, the average resale price per square foot for Model A four-room flats. Why Model A four-room flats? This was the most commonly transacted type of four-room flats. The average resale price for that was higher in Aogang SMC than elsewhere in the same HDB town. So who knows? Who knows? The value of your property could go up. You should know that the Workers Party has a proven track record of managing Aogang Town Council. With all credit to the hard work of the MP, Mr. Lau Tia Kiang, and dedicated our Gang Town councillors, what the MP and what the town town councillors do is to provide leadership. It is the it is the managing agent, the managing agent. A company that is hired by the town council that provides the day-to-day -day management. This is the case in Aogang. This is the case in Aujuni. This is the case in many, many constituencies in Singapore. So please come to Aogang for a visit. You will not only find a clean. And well-run neighborhood, you will also find vibrant and friendly community, a community that has what we call the Aogang spirit. We try to foster a true Kampong spirit in Aogang. Residents are encouraged to take the initiative. To organize social activities and community outreach, the Workers' Party manifesto says that we believe in the development of a strong and vibrant community, and that the best way to do this is to encourage individuals within the community to serve the neighborhood, to foster the organic growth of a natural community leadership. If we are elected in Aljuni, we will invest not only in the hardware; we will invest in the heartware, <laughs> so that people will want to live in Aljuni, not because of the well-kept neighborhoods and the vibrant community life, but also because of the Aljuni spirit. Fellow Singaporeans, 
fellow citizens of Aljunied, I have more good news for you. <laughs> Some of you worry about change. But Minister George Yeo has told us that the announced plans for the extension of the Northeast MRT line in Aljunied and the lift upgrading for housing estates in Aljunied will carry on, even if the PAP team loses. And if the Workers' Party gets elected, we promise you, we will work closely with the government to implement these plans. The Prime Minister has also said that if the PAP loses a GRC, life will go on. The Minister Mentor, no, 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 has said that if the PAP loses a, loses G Aljuni, it would not it would not be the end of the world and that they will fight to get Aljuni back. Similarly, you know, the Workers' Party will also work hard to get re-elected in five years. So you will have two sets of public servants working hard for you in Aljuni in the next five years. So my fellow citizens, My fellow citizens of Aljunied, there will be no need to regret and repent when you vote for the Workers' Party. Instead, we will revive and rejoice. Vote the Workers' Party towards the First World Parliament. Thank you. Shishida 前几天吴志正他提到说这是因为呢包括吴资政一个好消息所以各位朋友
工人党也可以当选为阿育尼集选区的一员啊、呃，为大家服务，两全其美。我知道，我们阿育尼选区的朋友，有些人担心，如果工人党当选了，你祖屋的房价是不是会往下调、往下跌？根据呢，根据 HDB 啊、哦、发展局，他这个啊祖屋转售的资料。过去十二个月，在后港单选区里头，四房式的主屋叫做 A 型的，四房性呃四房式的主屋，它的平均价格呢，啊，其实要比同一个市镇里头其他选区里的这个四房式主屋平均价还要高。所以很难说，各位，你的祖屋可能更值钱。工人党当选以后，请你放心，工人党。在后港的这个市政理事会呢，在管理后港市政方面，多年来都有良好的口碑。这一切呢，归功于刘成强议员和他在后港市政理事会里头全体同事，他们做的非常好。他们有很好的领导。定期的维修和管理，就像其他的选区一样。工人党的宣言，工工人党的宣言里头，我们的党纲里头就提到，我们要发展和建设一个稳定的、有合力的社区，啊，这是我们的理念。各位阿育尼的朋友，我还有更多的好消息要给各位。杨荣文部长他已经说了，最近宣布要延长地铁东北线的计划，还有我们阿育尼已经公布的祖屋电梯的翻修计划，不会因为行动党在这次没选上就会收回。如果工人党被选上，我们。我们答应，一定会跟政府全力配合，把这些计划做得好。杨荣文部长这么说了，李总理也说过，就算人民行动党失去一个集选区，我们还是要继续走下去，日子还是一样的过啊。李之正，他也说过，如果人民行动党在阿育尼区落选，那不是世界末日。行动党他会全力要赢回，啊，全力以赴，为了、啊、为了下回的大选，啊，赢回阿育尼区，他会全力以赴。这个代表什么呢？那当然，行动党啊，行动党这么看重阿育尼，那工人党更不用讲了。我们当选以后，一定要努力，好让我们重新会被选上。所以，请大家把票投给工人党啊！投给工人党的话，就代表未来的五年，你们会有两组人。在阿育尼区积极的为你服务，工人党跟行动党
谢谢各位。那希望啊，在投票日我有更多的好消息啊，跟大家分享。谢谢。